How to find a fast, reliable, and stable Binance Smart Chain node. If you're building a project, you most likely need to have a node. In order to, for example, upload smart contracts, you need a node. In order to switch your MetaMask from Ethereum to Binance Chain, you need a node. There are so many other use cases where you need a node. In order to check current balances of different users, you may need a node. So, finding a Binance Smart Chain node, especially a full archive Binance Smart Chain node, is not that easy. And that's exactly why we've created this video and I will show you the best place where you get your Binance Smart Chain node. And it will be fast, reliable and very stable. You can always rely on these nodes. So what you need is a so-called speedy node. Speedy node is a very special type of node that have exceptional speed and exceptional stability. So to get a Binance Smart Chain speedy node, you need to go to moralis.io, you can find the link in the description, you sign up, and then you go to speedy nodes here in the menu, and you click endpoints, and here you can find mainnet, you can find testnet, and you have both normal nodes and archive nodes. Now, archive node for mainnet on Binance Chain is coming in a few days, so probably if you're watching this video a few days after we upload it, we already have a mainnet archive, and for testnet, we already have an archive node. And for all of you who don't know what an archive node is, it is basically a node that has a lot of previous states, that you can basically go back in time using your node, and you can see what balances, what smart contracts, what kind of things happened at previous point in time. You can go back and you can roll back the time with an archive node. So, of course, it's terabytes and terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of data. Um, but so this is how it works. You need to get a URL and we give you mainnet, testnet right here. Now, let me show you how to set it up with MetaMask. But of course, this URL you can use for anything. You can interact with this from the command line. You can query this from command line. You can use it from command line. You can use it in different projects. This is your node that you can talk to. You can ask it whatever you want like any geth node, you would ask, for example, what is the current block, what is the current balance, what is happening on the blockchain, you can already call it. But to demonstrate, the easiest is to just uh, show you how to get it into MetaMask and how to make MetaMask use these speedy nodes. All right, so the first step is to copy the URL. So in this case, I'll copy the mainnet Binance Chain URL right here. Then I go to MetaMask, I go here to Networks, I choose custom RPC and here we need to call it. So let me call it Binance Chain and I'll call this mainnet uh, RPC URL. So here is the URL of the node and this is the URL that you use. If you want mainnet, if you want testnet, you use this URL. Uh, and uh, for MetaMask, you don't need archive. So don't use Archive if you're just connecting to MetaMask. Archive you need if you're building a more technical project and need to access historical states. Um, but for most use cases, don't use Archive. But Archive is very important in some specific use cases. We need to go back in history and check previous states. Uh, chain ID 97 is for Binance Chain. Uh, symbol BNB. MetaMask is for Ethereum. So if you want to change to Binance, you need to tell that it's no longer ETH, it's BNB. And Block Explorer, it is um, HTTPS. And then instead of Etherscan, we have Binance Smart Chain Scan.com, like this. And save. Uh, oh, sorry. 97 is for testnet Binance Chain. 56 is for mainnet Binance Chain. Bam. There you go. Networks. And now I have. Uh, my account on Binance Chain. And now I also want to demonstrate that this works also when you query from command line. As you can see, we're using curl in order to ask this node, basically this URL that I just showed you recently that we used in MetaMask. I have the same URL right here. So we're using curl, we're doing a post request and we're asking it about the current block number. So although it is Binance Chain, we know that Binance Chain is based on Ethereum. So in order to ask the current Binance Chain block number, we need to ask ETH block number, because this is for Ethereum. But anyway, let's execute this. And as you can see, we get the result. This is the current block number. Now, we get this result in hexadecimal. So we can just go here and we can ask uh, Google to go and to translate this to decimal. And as you can see, this number is this in decimal. And now we can also go here and we can check uh, uh, BSC scan. And we can check for the current block number. And as you can see, when we asked this a few seconds ago, it was uh, uh, 337, 0, 337 that it ended with. And it was here. So this was 
like th 30 seconds ago. <laughs> but you know, it, blocks are coming each and every three seconds, so you really have to be fast. So when we type that command, this was the, the block. And then when we translate it to decimal, of course, more blocks produced because Binance Chain is pushing blocks each and every three three seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the power of Binance. And this is also the power of speedy nodes because you get this insane speed, although they're pushing new blocks each and every three seconds. So to summarize, you go to Morales.io, you sign up with an account and you go to speedy nodes right here. Then you go to Binance Smart Chain Network, you click endpoints. And here you see all the information you need for mainnet and for testnet. If you're watching this in a few days, we already have mainnet archive as well. So you copy it, and you can use it in MetaMask, you can use it in command line, you can use it in JavaScript when you're coding as well. And this is all you need. Smash the like, smash the subscribe button, smash the bell button for more, because I help you each and every day to be a better blockchain developer. Smash the like, see you all very, very soon, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.